is aiming to help Canadians for um, up. Sorry about that. Ottawa is aiming to help Canadians with their mortgage renewals after a series of Bank of Canada rate hikes drove up mortgage rates. Finance Minister Christia Freeland on Tuesday announced a proposal for a Canadian mortgage charter. It would exempt insured mortgage holders from requalifying under the stress test and allow temporary extensions on the amortization period. But how much of this is new? How much of it moves the needle? Ron Butler, mortgage broker at Butler Mortgage, joins us now. Thank you so much for that for, for joining us. Me. Thanks for having me. Okay, so um, you kind of summed it up. I'll spoil it, but in, on Twitter you said, or X, whatever, um, there's nothing new here. It's really just a collection of things that already exist. Well, this is good for the environment because it's recycling. Uh, uh -huh. This is just recycled the stuff that's been going on. So, yeah, there's really nothing new in particular. And it's really important to understand that all this stuff for the banks is voluntary. They have a different regulator than this regulator. That's right. They have OSPI, which is their regulator, which um, it's interesting to he hear the federal government talk about, you can just extend your amortization period, um, which we've been doing already, right? Uh, and the regulator, I'm seeing all these news reports saying, we don't actually really like that. I was talking to a bank CEO last night, and he said you had to actually report every time you extended each individual amortization. Now, uh, you know, that just goes into a bunch of data. But yeah, the regulator, the bank regulator obviously does watch it that closely. Uh, and uh, hey, look, uh, there's not really any problem with going back to original amortization. If you started with 25 years, you started with 30 years. Very few banks will object to that. But the sort of extended amortizations right out into the 35 years and the 40 years is only available under very special circumstances. Should we bring back? Uh, uh, extended amortizations at origination? Well, that certainly is demand stimulus. Uh, and with the prices of houses in Canada, it. I don't think we need any more demand at all. So, um, When you look at uh, all the measures that were announced on the supply side, uh, we've been talking about this for years and years, complaining about the supply side, needle moving, well, you know, the, the elimination of the reduction, the attack on short-term rentals, the attack on that uh, marketplace is welcome. Uh, not for the people who own them, but for, for uh, people who want to have a chance to buy them. Uh, because let's face it. Or in live in them for a period in of them. time. Yeah. Or, or live in them long-term as long-term tenants. Let's face it, uh, if you really analyze what they are in terms of uh, individual units that are not owner-occupied, but are, you're, allowed to owner, you're allowed to rent out your room, that's no problem, but to have six condos and rent them all out, it's essentially an illegal hotel suite. It feels like there's a cliff looming when it comes to mortgage renewals. The end of next year and 2025, when all these people renew their mortgages and have to do so at higher rates, assuming that rates are where they are right now. You are on the phones with people who have mortgages. How are they dealing? How are they preparing? How would you characterize how Canada is set up to deal with that? Well, there's tension, there's apprehension. And let's face it, for some of the people who've had variable rate mortgages, their payments have already gone through the roof. So uh, yeah, there's a, a lot of negative emotion out there about it. But to your point, hopefully in 2025, these rates won't look quite the same as they do today. We heard from Bank of Canada Governor uh, Tiff Macklem yesterday afternoon, giving kind of the clearest indication yet that while rate cuts are nowhere near what they're thinking about, at least they seem done with the rate hiking cycle. It seemed to be a pretty you know, qualified, but in, if you parse central bank speak, it's probably a pretty good indication that they are done with rate hikes. What does that certainty do in the market? Because a lot of, um, you know, in February when there was that pause, it seemed that's all people needed to come back out. They just needed to know where a rate's going to be. Is this time different? Is a pause this time different than when, it, when we paused in February? Oh, yes, it's dramatically different. In February, we were exposed to the U.S. bank mini crisis, and fixed rates fell precipitously. We saw you could get a, a three-year fixed for 4.49, so that's meaningful in the marketplace. We don't have those kind of rate cuts right now. And so uh, you don't think we'll see this flood of people coming to the market because there is certainty? Until we get to the point where there's a four in front of an interest rate, I don't think we're going to see a flood of anything to the market. I mean, that's what uh, economists are predicting come next year. Well, here's one thing, I, uh, because I'm very old, here's one thing I do know, that uh, when people are worried about their job stability, they don't always jump out and buy a new house. 
What about the new people coming to this country and how is that helping to offset what would be lower demand? Well, high immigration levels do eventually put a floor under prices because sooner or later people need a place to live. Uh, they need a place to start their families. So yes, it creates a floor, but we may have a long way to go before we hit the floor. These banks though, they're not the ones financing those mortgages right now, if in fact that's what they're getting. The banks have strong new to Canada programs. Uh, there is potential for it, but at these prices and at these rates, nothing's happening. Well,